hi guys uh, uh, this video actually uh, you know I have already recorded this video and this is a video which wherein we actually are going to prepare a VBA code and uh, this will talk about how to you can loop you know all the objects uh, you know in your this worksheet basically the shapes you know unfortunately when I was uploading the video uh, when I was recording the video you know sound got actually did not uh, get uh, you know recorded so I am right now just you know reinventing the video so please apologize my apologies to you in case if I go little slow or maybe fast and not as per the you know uh, the video but I think uh, the video is not tough to understand so uh, this actually uh, is you know uh, just talking about how you can uh, run a loop and these are the my playlist VB video and chart and pivots you can go there and watch my videos I have uploaded a lot of videos on these playlists just click on my name so as you can see here uh, you know uh, these are the uh, rectangular shop rectangle 14 this is a oval 3 you know which uh, I have actually inserted you know by going going to the insert and this is a chart and this is again a button oh, oops I'm sorry uh, this actually got uh, the macro ran actually but this is a button you know uh, um, uh, this is a button if I uh, click on it right click on this you see that this button has this button one name so I want to loop I want to prepare a VBA code which can actually run you know in all these objects one by one I, I can get their name you know I want to retrieve their name rectangle 14 and then oval and then this uh, button you know uh, whatever the name it has button one and uh, then the chart and then oval shape whatever I mean is there right so we want to actually get their names you know we want to run a loop so that's the something the code which we are actually going to prepare in our VBA right so this is what exactly the code uh, I'm, I'm actually going to prepare uh, this is uh, my previous video code which I have just finished off and you will be able to see that in uh, you know another video which is again which talks up exactly about the you know how you can loop the charge but anyways uh, let's talk about this video and uh, so this is how the module is inserted and uh, then I'm gonna rename this shapes shape loop and uh, because we are now exactly going to talk about the you know shapes which includes your charts as well right previous video was only uh, about the charts how you can actually loop uh, you know within the charts so I'm gonna declare this sh variable as excel dot shapes and this is going to be work as a collection loop for each loop you know and uh, sh is a variable you can name it whatever you want you can even name it your name that doesn't matter this is just a variable but I have given it a class called excel uh, you know shape excel dot shape so for each shape in excel dot uh, uh, I beg your pardon uh, not uh, shapes but this has a class called active uh, uh, sheet dot uh, shape so I'll uh, write that uh, you can even write shapes as well uh, that's again um, I don't uh, shapes is actually a collection word you know and uh, so we are running this uh, loop for each which is generally known as a collection loop and uh, so this is how we are actually message through message box we are going to retrieve the name variable not defined it is taking as a shapes as a variable so I'll define it active sheet I just forgot to write active sheet uh, and uh, active sheet dot shapes is a actually a you know collection word which would come now I ran this and as you can see here uh, I'll get all the objects you know one by one Imani is the name of a chart actually so this is how you know you can actually run a loop and uh, you can do a lot of other stuff as well for example uh, if you want that you know a particular name if exists then it should be deleted what exactly we can do so I'm just writing here that if my this you know sh dot name uh, uh, the error is there so what is the error uh, okay it's is actually I'm sorry <laughs> it should be actually if uh, typo mistake so pardon me for that so now this sh name is equal to oval 3 so whenever this space will be there uh, this name will be there it is actually going to delete it so I'm running a loop and all the control all the objects the shapes will be checked one, one by one and wherever my axel is going to find this you know this oval 3 it is actually going to be deleted and if it is not there then obviously it will not delete it right so this is a case sensitive so I'll just uh, keep this O in uppercase and now uh, let's just resize this and uh, now I'm running it F8 mode 
debugging mode and let's uh, check now so as you know this is giving the button one which is the my first uh, shape now next it'll go to the next and then it'll give me the rectangle 14 the second shape of uh, was in this worksheet and similarly now here I have all three so now it should immediately go to the true condition which is you know sh dot delete so as you can see in the excel it has actually deleted and then again it has gone to the next loop Himani so this is how guys this loop works and you can you know actually run this loop on all the active shapes and uh, it, it is going to give you back and you can do a lot of stuff I mean not just this delete but you can even move it to the another sheet you know you can delete them you can move them you can recreate them you can format them you know whatever way actually uh, you know you want whatever way you feel like you know this actually can be done so this is how you can run the loops uh, so it is not just about that for each you know uh, can be run in only the worksheets or workbooks or ranges watch my other videos on the VBA if you haven't watched them this can also be run you know uh, this can also be uh, uh, run in this uh, for each uh, uh, controls you know for each objects as well so we actually particularly talked about the shapes so shapes include everything whatever you go shape you you know include whether it's a circle whether it's a rectangular whether it's a square whatever I mean to say including the charts right so this is how and uh, you have my email ID ajay underscore qm underscore uh, 81 at uh, yahoo.com let me write in in case if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching do subscribe to my channel as well